It's home. Just you. At first I thought somebody had broken in or something. Well, good evening. Just keep moving, Taffer. Too bad Mr. Wicket has to pay money to his blackmailer. Too bad for his blackmailer that I know where the drop is. We got an intruder.
have a city. Okay, Obey the law, it, but I can't read. And no need to worry about says. the residents. We got the whole place under the Cora. city watch are the guys who. Quora will lock me up, though. Quora Gotta keep my eye out for them. Same thing happened to me. Watchmen. That ain't you, Stella, is it? Trying to scare me? Those are City Watch. You can tell by their insignia. They're the guys I have to look out for. Ooh, ah! What are you playing at? 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 This is Black Alley. The red handprint is the mark of illegal establishments. <laughs> ah, sir. Welcome. Is this your first time visiting us? Take your time. Peruse. Enjoy. Shopping should never be a rushed experience. Hmm, don't look too familiar.
Didn't expect to see you. Haven't you heard? Lady Elizabeth from Rutherford Castle is after you. She was in here with some goons, asking a bunch of questions about that opal. They did a job on me. See the bruises? Had to give them a name. I guess before I knew that I'd given them yours. Which is the truth, ain't it? Anyway, uh, I watch your back, eh, pal? Uh, about the opal. No way I can risk taking it now, but I know someone who can. A fence in Stone Market. Black Market Bertha. If I were you, I'd go to Stone Market to see her now, before those goons find you. A anyway... I'll do. Looks like Lady Elizabeth is here, with a couple of thugs. Did you see that fence, Wince? I only had to hit him three times before he started spilling his guts. Couldn't wait to give us Garrett's name. It was my knife at his throat that made him tougher. Heartless Perry. He was tough. I want to go back and rough him up some more. Shut up, you fool. Huh? What the taff is going on? It's like I said, nothing there, so shut up about it already. Now what am I worried about? Nobody's gonna try anything with me, seeing as how muscly I am and all. Huh. Again. Well, I've made it past Lady Elizabeth and her thugs, and now here I am in Stone Market. This district's known for commerce and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything's locked up for the night. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city. Good landmark day or night. And finally, the Stone Market Plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the city wants... Big Bertha's place is marked on my map with the red handprint. Okay.
Evening. <clears throat> hey. Hello, it's me. Is that you, uh, Garrett? Yeah, that's right. I'm Garrett. Matt. <laughs> uh, <gasps> What I'm the one half is... Aha! You broke in Found ya! You. You're in... Looking for the bakery, are you? <clears throat> Hello, it's me. Is that you, uh, Garrett? Yeah, that's right. I'm Garrett, master thief at your service. McFarley said you had a job for me. Brent, is it? Indeed I do. I, um, um... What? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I, I just thought you'd look different, that's all. It's, it's nothing. Hey, I'm the greatest thief that ever lived. I ain't concerned about appearances. Anyway, with all that thieving I do, I ain't got time for no baths or nothing. Oh, I see, yeah, completely understandable. Enough said, yeah? Anyway, let me tell you why I wanted to meet with you, Garrett. Yeah, get on with it. I, I got a lot of job offers, you know. You ain't the only merchant in town too uppity to get his own hands a bit dirty. Oh, of course. The object in question is of little monetary value, but has great sentimental meaning to me. It's the Oran Cross Dagger. You probably heard of it. A stylish golden number, and it's currently out of its owner's hands being scheduled for repairs at Cothran's Armory. Uh, the Orin, uh, the, the Golden Dagger, eh? Mm, sure, I heard of it. I'm Garrett, ain't I? Except it sounds plenty valuable to me. Well, it's not. The money I'll pay you to get it will be twice what it's worth. Anyway, it's one of a kind. You'd be hard-pressed to find a fence who'd manage it for you. All right, all right. Go on. As I said, it's being kept at Cothran's Armory. In the basement safe. That's where you come in, Garrett. As a master thief, you should have no trouble with it. Once you get it, put it in the donations box outside that Hammerite place, St. Edgar's. I'll leave the payment in the same box once I have the dagger. I think that about covers it. All right, Mr. Brent. And don't forget, if you want Garrett type services, you gotta offer Garrett type prices. So that's the famous Garrett, huh? Guess he's not as good looking as I'd heard. <sighs> Dead. <laughs> Hello? Was that some kind? That's not the best you can do! He's dead. Ah, good riddance. You ready? What? Right now? Yeah. You get the map, right? What else are we waiting for? I don't know. <sighs> Smoky, above one. You head sick? Different? Yes? 
Open cage. Open gravid cage. Gravid won't return under to Kershak. Thank you, sneaky human. Grab it. I can't fight. This isn't your house. Gotcha. <laughs> Welcome to your death, Taffer. Just minding my own business, officer, sir. Yeah, no trouble here. Can't have gone off by itself. Where are you? If you get any sense, you're long gone from here. Are we fighting or dancing? Must be around here somewhere, but where? Oh, boy. Oh, you're always on my shift. Come on out, you! Come out right now, then no one will get hurt.
Garrett, I can't believe it's you in my store. Let me know if you need help finding... Well, looky, looky, you must be Garrett. Somehow, I expected somebody taller. Doesn't matter. I'm Black Market Bertha. Glad to meet you. Perry, mm, this is a damn fine opal. One of a kind. I bet it came from one of those old noble houses. Am I right? Never mind. It ain't my business how you came to have it. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here, a gentleman left this letter for you. Don't you worry, I didn't read it. It ain't my business, is it? Hey, ow, what? Oh, that. <gasps> Someone there? Better not be. Seems like more of the same. playing at oh uh, you you Well, 
now. What are you We're doing here in here after in hours? Shop. Help! So, uh, where are the stones, eh? <gasps> hey, is that somebody? I see you. There. Did I mention? I'll find you, and that's a promise. Evening to you. They're not here after all. Yes, that's it. It, it, it slipped my mind. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, suddenly, I remember now. I'll take you there. to do something about this. <laughs> I know I ain't bother with it. Uh huh. Is oh, that no. a fight? Yeah. Watch it. Found you. Oh, now you die, know. Taffer. Come back and fight me. You. <sighs> I saw what you did. Now you'll get it. I don't like people. 
being followed. Cryptic notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. Well, that's Keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help. Right? But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... My choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure your Keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett. I shouldn't have doubted myself. <laughs> Scared myself is all. Corner of my eye. Aha! Uh -huh. Ha! Found him! Who's back me up, can't you? So 
someone's lurking down the alley. <laughs> he ran out into the street. This is where the Hammerite fanatics keep the chalice, a so-called holy relic. It's what the keepers are asking me to steal if I want to see their prophecies for myself. The chalice might not be worth much on the street, but every Hammer church has a nice pile of wealth stashed away. No reason not to fill my pockets while I'm here. This particular temple holds the crypt of some long-ago Hammerite hero, Saint Edgar. Today was his holy day, so there's an all-night service. That might work in my favor if they're all sitting down praying, instead of looking for sinners to smite. Chances are they'll have anything they think is holy locked up pretty tight. I'll have to make sure they don't do the same to me. I'm not interested in the Hammerite brand of justice. <laughs> 